Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can untrim quilts. So what you see on the screen is a box that has a few holes in it that it were basically created from a trimming operation where we had this single model representing the box and then we had a number of cylinders that were used to trim the model. So let's go ahead and untrim it. Let's remove these holes. This is a fantastic feature to use if you're wanting to say defeature geometry or remove things like what we're going to be doing here. So I'll go ahead and select this quilt that represents the face that has the holes in it and we'll go to edit untrim. And what you'll notice is that we have several options here. The first thing is that I can start selecting the inner loops inside this quilt that I'd like to go ahead and untrim. I can hold down the control key to select multiple. However, there's also this loop right here, which just happens to be connected to the outer boundary. So what I need to go ahead and do is enable outer loop selectable, and then I can select that loop as well. Something else I can do is specify a minimum length. So if you are defeaturing, say removing lettering from a surface or something like that, you can actually specify a minimum length. So in this case, I'll specify, say, a minimum length of 20 units for this particular model. Say select all short loops, and you'll notice it selects all of the loops that have a, an edge length less than 20 units, which is pretty handy if you're doing some defeaturing. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the minimum length and select all three of these loops and click untrim and then go ahead and hit OK and you'll notice that that quilt has been untrimmed, effectively defeatured, those holes have been removed. That's how you use the untrim tool in PointWise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.